So for a comp competition plan, you need to know what's, what do you need to focus on, how to focus on it, yeah. and what not to focus on. So this is your circles of attention. Do you remember what the furthest thing away from your best focus could be? What's why am I doing this? Yeah. Okay. Is why <laughs> am I here? It can mean a lot to different people. Why am I here can mean, like, I don't even like this. I'm forced to be here. Why am I here? I'm so scared to be doing this that I can't believe I'm actually on a horse competing right now. Why am I here? I'm so worried about losing that uh, I can't bear to be here. Or why am I here? I just, I've done so much of this all of my life and I don't really care about it anymore. It can mean a lot, a lot of different things. And it can mean I'm so confused and I'm so stressed that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so that's the furthest away <laughs> from your best focus. So here we have the two other ones. So this is focusing on winning and losing. So on outcomes, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're riding and you're at the start, you're here, and you're focused on winning, that means your focus is out here. It's not on what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And especially because your focus is out there, you're probably really nervous about this either happening or not happening. So what happens in the moment is not always what you want because you're focusing out here. It can't be back here either. It has to be here. And one step outside of that is the consequences of winning and losing. So like we brought back to, if you're in the industry, for example, what does it mean to all these people watching if I don't do well? All right. That's fine. It's fine. All of these things, they might cross your mind, right? Whether or not they're realistic or things you should be focusing on is one thing. But one thing for sure is that they don't help you when you want to compete. Okay? So comparing ourselves to the person next to us, the person who went before us, how well they did their warm-up, how fast they were, how nice it looked, you know, what the judges might have said, comparing ourselves to the people around. Yeah. Or not even just always that they're better, but maybe sometimes that well, that person did a really crappy run. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, this is going to be easy. It's not preparing you to, to perform your best. Hmm. Then we have here, fear. Because that's a legitimate um, concern for a lot of people, especially people who have been injured before. But focusing on that fear is not going to help you perform your best. And I mean, fear can be fear of maybe not just injury, but maybe of how, how you will look in front of other people. Like, I mean, it ties in with outcomes in that too. But it's still further away from what you need to be focusing on when you're competing. Then we have here. Yeah, <laughs> the environment. So we all know our horses are pretty uh, unique in that way and that environmental things can be very distracting, um, but they can also be distracting to us too. So, and, and I think that we tend to do that a lot as riders. We, we know the personalities of our horses and what they tend to react to and what they tend to focus on or worry about that we spend so much time worrying about that that we might not even be focusing on the right things, mm -hmm. right? So especially with environmental stuff, that is usually out of your control. You can't say, excuse me, lady, can you put that umbrella away? No. Just or get a <laughs> in, a, in a perfect world, we could, <laughs> we could post a list of things that people couldn't bring, yeah. but then we'd probably have nobody watching. We'd yeah. probably not have, you know, the dogs and cats around the barn. We'd have like, Nothing, right? And live in a bubble. Even then, you can't do a rain dance to stop the rain. If you know, so a lot of these things are out of our control. And then, so here we have the first distraction, which is usually out of our control, is environmental things. Outside of that, fear. Outside of that, comparisons. Further and further away from what you need to be doing right now. 
what that person did, what they did before, what they did after. Then we have focusing on winning or losing. You're focusing on something before it even happens. And then the consequences of that. What does this mean? Some people it might mean, do I get funding? Some people it might mean, how am I gonna look? All this sort of stuff. And then finally, it's so far out of your ultimate focus, it's why am I even here? So we know that we all sort of go in and out of maybe some of these phases. Sometimes we might go, we catch, we catch a glimpse at that, that girl who did really well, or you go, oh gosh, I'd really like to win this. And that's fine. Like those thoughts are there. That's okay. It's how do we bring it back to our best focus so that we can perform? How do we bring it back to that feeling when we're by ourselves training? Where we're just doing what we can do and trusting them. So what is your best focus? What should you be focused on? Yeah. You and your horse. What you need to do. It's me and the step in front of me. That's what's most important in this moment. It's not the dogs and cats that are running around. It's not the person who went before me. It's not the, the idea that I really want to win this. They might be there, but we need to come back to this. That's what's going to help you perform and trusting in this. Focus. And I'm sure you've all had sort of that best ever performance where you felt like you're in the zone and you're just focused and nothing else existed. And that's, that's the ultimate, that's peak performance is when you focus on the process, like the things you need to do, the outcome will take care of itself, right? And the outcome is success. And success doesn't always mean winning, but being the best you can be is being successful.